All right, I'm the Flat Rate Master, and today we got a case study. All right, I got a Crown Vic, I think an 05, came in, windows in up, no, no crank, no start, no calm, and the customer's been messing with it. So, first thing I did is the battery was smoked, so I threw an interstate in it just so I wouldn't have to worry about holding a battery charger on it and, you know, difficulty testing it. So I threw an interstate in it just because. So I did my normal checks. Confirmed the symptom. Yep, it's a no crank. Dash lights up, nothing out of the, uh, as far as cranking. No communication with any modules, or no, um, let me rephrase that. No communication with PCM, TCM, which on this is a powertrain control module, so it's combined. So, interesting. So, I started doing my normal checks. So, I checked, started checking fuses, you know, looking for power, looking for grounds, and went to the crank fuse and had no power on it whatsoever. Hmm, symptom. Took the uh, column apart, got to the uh, ignition switch, no power. And pulled, you know, pulled wiring diagrams and figured out where the power was supposed to be coming from. It was supposed to be coming from a fuse under the hood to the ignition switch and then out. Okay. So... Did a little digging, found no fuse in the hole. Okay, plugged it in, got communication back. Plugged in a fuse, I'll give you a shot of it. That fuse without a top is the fuse that was missing. I didn't have the right amperage, so I stuck a, just a generic one in, a 20 amper, I think it's supposed to be a 30 amp. Stuck it in there just for testing purposes. Got communication back but still a no crank. Did a quick swap of the relays for the crank relay, just a quick and easy test, swap them over, you know, quick and easy. So, you know, it's getting close to the end of the day and okay, so I go get a relay switch, you know, bypass the relay, just a little switch on a relay. I could do the same thing with, uh, you know, jumper wire, but I've got them, so I might as well use them. Hit the button fires right up. Getting interesting. Here's where it gets really interesting. If you look up here on this ignition switch, you'll see a cut wire. Well, remember I said the windows don't work? Well, that's the supply voltage to the master switch. On the other side of it is a dead short to ground. Dude's been in here messing around. So, get me a little more suspicious. In the back seat is a BWD, you know, broke when delivered ignition switch. Keeps getting more and more interesting. So, the ignition switch that he's replaced the original one was sitting on the seat. I swapped it back in. It was fun. Now obviously, now obviously, I have to diagnose the direct short on the uh, windows, but car now runs. I can put the original switch back in. He created all of these issues. At least the no crank, no start issue. I don't know the details of what happened, but definitely an interesting one. And it was pouring down rain today, so really didn't want to bring this one in. Oh, and 
He also had a blown 15 amp fuse for the cigarette lighter accessory port. That was a direct short as well. That was easy. Had pennies in the cigarette lighter. It's a fun one. Definitely interesting to say the least. Now the last shot I'm gonna give you is the rest of the car. Now as I said, he brought it in, had it towed in in the pouring rain. Some creative use of masking tape and a tarp. Because as you can see, all of the windows are down. And my window switch was full of water because he didn't tape that side up real well. Or I guess the tow truck driver didn't do a good job putting it back together. Now it was definitely a fun and interesting diagnosis. Not, you know, something a little out of the ordinary, a little challenging, fun. So, you know, Kind of like getting a uh, going to one of those competitions where they have the uh, sabotage car and you got to find that uh, barely blown fuse or whatever. So it's definitely a lot of fun. This is the kind of stuff I really do enjoy. Don't get to do it as often as I'd like to, but definitely fun. Hope you like this case study. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I'd have loved to taking you along live, but. The shop just doesn't work like that here. I can't pull a camera out and shoot videos. Shop just can't, you know, I don't make enough money on YouTube to, you know, hurt my pay working for the man. So, but definitely, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, definitely interesting. So if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of them, subscribe. Make sure and hit that bell notification so you get notified when I put out a new video. If you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down. I know I'm not no Eric O or Keith DeFazio. You know, if it was Keith DeFazio, another quick one. Comments are always appreciated. And as always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.